want you to snuggle up closer to the lion and put your arms around it. Okay, Carmen? You want me to put my arm around him? He's a pussycat, honey. A real pussycat. Arnold's more afraid of you than you are of him. Well, I hope I don't scare the pussycat. Carmen, darling, everything's gonna be just fine. Believe me, he is the best trained, best tamed lion in Hollywood. And he sold an awful lot of insurance policies last year. Oh, those were wonderful commercials. And this one's gonna be even better. Now back over to Ronald. Okay, now, when we pull back from the line, I want to be able to see the whole setting, wild and untamed. You got it, Tommy? Right, boss. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Hold it a minute. Put a kicker on that hood ornament, Sam. Look at this. Those are the scores of the sergeant exam. So what? I didn't take the exam, neither do you. No, no, no. Wainwright. M. Wainwright, number four. Whoa, fourth. <laughs> She's gonna make sergeant right away. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. <laughs> How'd it trap you? Uh, uh, Applegate. Applegate, Apple, Applegate. Brilliant. Hey, didn't make the first 25. Jeez, come on, let's get going. Uh, hey, you roll. <laughs> Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, hey, dip my way up. How's it going? Don't ask. <laughs> what do you mean, don't ask? But, um, Morgan came in fourth in the sergeant's list. Yeah? That's great. <laughs> That's great. How'd uh, Trap do? Didn't even make the first 25. Yo. Does he know that? Hey, congratulations, Morgan. Thanks, Ro. Hey, Morg, you did it. Did what? Hey, fourth on the sergeant's list. You kidding? Mm -mm. What did we kid the first woman sergeant ever of the ESD? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Right, thanks. Great going, great going. No congratulations? Of course. Congratulations. Thank you. Trap? Where did Trap place on the list? Attention 240 Robert units, two calls. A 902R movie crane operator stranded on its arm and a 905 Evictor, a lion, both at Sunrise Point. Oh, I have a visual on the crane operator. He's hanging right over the ravine. The crane doesn't look... 
look very secure. No sign of the lion. Okay, Morgan. Hang in there. We're on our way up. Right, but it's frozen. It won't move. All right, we'll handle it. We'll hey, handle folks, it. Folks, you move over here. Don't try to do anything. We'll be right out. Hurry up! Come what on, guys. Give him room. The wheel's barely holding. Roll. Go. Get a chalk. See if you can put it on the other wheel. I'll get him. We'll need the winches, both of them. And I'll take him. I'll safety off. I'll be standing by the chapel, okay? important part. He's big for his age. He's not as tame as he claims. He's a pussycat, honey. I keep telling you, he's a pussycat. Well, who are you talking about? Ronald. Ronald? Hey, is Ronald a lion? Of course. Who do you think I'm talking about? Well, I just saw him down below. You did? Where? About 300 feet down that ravine. What was he doing? Walking around. You know, that exercise is going to make him mighty hungry. 
Believe me, you've got nothing to worry about. He's, he's as tame as a kitten. I keep telling you, he's a pussycat. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. You know that. But does Ronald? <laughs> Now, hey, I gotta tell you, this, uh, <laughs> this is a lot bigger than we expected. No, no, we'll do it. But we want more money. 25 grand. Yes, 25 grand. Oh, we figure at least another 25 grand. Hey, you look. We're the ones taking a chance here. A lot of people could get killed, so don't hand me that line. 50 grand, take it or leave it. Okay. We'll do it tonight. You did it. what I tell you? Right. That thing's gonna light up the whole harbor. <laughs> what an explosion! Go, Kesty. We're gonna start with the reserves, then call in the highway patrol. Gotta get that pussycat back under wraps. That's a 10-4. What a way to start a day. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Some surprise, huh? Yeah, but after a lot of time on the job, you know, you learn how to handle life's little surprises like that. I'm proud of you, Trap. I mean, I'm really proud of the way you're handling this. What? You heard the trainer? Lion? You're talking about the lion? Of course I'm talking about the lion. Why? What else happened this morning? Uh, did I... Did I miss something? Pull over here. Why don't you pull right over here? Okay. What's this all about? Well, the results of the sergeant's exam came back this morning. The results of the sergeant exam came back this morning. The results of the sergeant exam. Okay. Came back. Okay. How'd I do? I didn't make the first 25. I didn't, eh? Well, so what's the big deal? You know, I'll just try again the next time around. May I go? Morgan came in fourth. <laughs> you know, you really got me. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I mean, you gotta be kidding. No. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I just can't be. It's a mistake, that's all. It's, just, it's a mistake. The list was on a computer readout sheet, right? Probably. There you go. Computers make mistakes. Computers are always making mistakes. I remember one time back home, we got a bill from the gas company. It said, like, it was a couple dollars off. I called them and called... Fourth. Right, so? She was fourth? Fourth. I mean, she'll be a sergeant this week. <sighs> well, that's life. It won't work. It won't work. It just won't work. What won't work? <sighs> the unit will go to pieces. It'll just be all over with Morgan as a sergeant. Trap, you are taking this too personally. Hey, no, 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 I'm not taking it personally. I'm not taking it personally. You're not? No, 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 no. I'm speaking for 240 Robert, all of us. For 15 years, we didn't have a woman deputy. Now we have a woman <laughs> sergeant. <laughs> I'm not so sure that all the guys in the unit are going to feel the same way you do. Whatever. I may have to leave, sir. <laughs> I'm on, telling you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't laugh. I wouldn't laugh. I'm going to be taking a hike going down the road. I'm telling you, I, I wouldn't laugh. <laughs>
There's no humor. <laughs> Is it fresh? We only sell fresh. Excuse me, but you're supposed to take Come a number. On, I cut. just want to ask a question. Do I have to take a number? What's your question? You have gizzards? He's got gizzards, but they're not gizzards. Flams over Another? on Fourth Street. They have gizzards. Another one. Cut. Good. Now I'll take the next four. Now you'll just have to wait. So independent, you think he was selling gasoline? <laughs> Last week, I ordered four fresh chickens. Fresh chickens, not frozen. But you know what? They were frozen. Frozen chickens are not the kind that thaw by the How time... How you learn, child? Home. They weren't so hot last week. Okay, so I'll have a half a pound of sausage. Excuse me, Mrs. I wasn't finished. Frozen chickens don't taste good. You know what I mean? The tiger! We deserve such service. <laughs> Considering I just discovered that everything I found important in my entire life just went screaming down the tubes. Attention all 240 Robert units in La Cañada, a 905 V Victor, a lion in Mel's Meat Market. Meat Market? That pussycat's no dummy. Verdugo, that's about 10 blocks up. 240 Robert 2 respond to 905 V at Foothill and Verdugo in one. Request you notify Animal Control and Robert 5 for backup. 240 Robert, 240 Robert 2. Robert 2 by. Shall I pick up a tranquilizer gun? She's a sergeant. She should know. Negative, Morgan. Animal control is rolling, no problem. I shot! It's ruined! I think he's a monster! I have whiplash! I, I, I think he ate Mrs. Naderman's Mrs. purse! Mrs. Naderman's still inside! Okay, okay, okay. One at a time. Now, someone is still inside with the lion? Uh, Mrs. Naderman! Uh, and my brother-in-law! He must have attacked Irving! Uh, wait a minute. He didn't attack anybody. This is supposed to be a tame lion. Tell that to Mrs. Naderman. <laughs> You heard the call. Sounds like Ronald, huh? Oh, God. You're, you're detective material, Kesty. Good. Let's let's check it out. Okay, I'll get a rope. <laughs> Just in case. Frank. I was on a safari once, you know. Good, Kesty. Mrs. Nadelman? Can you boys get this animal out of here so I can get down? Don't worry, ma'am. He's harmless. Harmless? Huh? You call this harmless? Yeah. Thank you, boys. Put a call into the trainer. Are you sure he's tame, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try to hog tie old Ronald here. Whew. It looks so easy when Roy Rogers does it, you know? Give me a 
me to do? Feed him by hand? No, I got an idea for both. I'm gonna coax the old cat out this way. Cassie's gonna try to get the rope on him. How about that? Who? Me? Sure. Okay, here. Hey, Ronald. Ronald! Kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, kitty. Come on. Maybe he doesn't like the cheaper cuts. Now look for him. 638 a pound. Best we can do. Ronald. Watch it, fellas. <laughs> okay. Bad Ronnie. Look what you've done. Bad pussycat. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Stuck too, it must be electric. The circuit's probably burned out. The smoke's still cooking under the dash. Not what that is, Vida. She says she can't breathe. Get the survivor. Oh. Ah. <laughs> no, get the surgeon. Get back. Get back, the surgeon. Watch your head. Watch your head. Where is it? Oh. 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 Okay. She's headed right for a premature birth if we don't get out of here fast. Cassidy, we gotta get this door off. I'll get the winch. Yeah. Okay. He's back in. Get that on her. No. Hang on, Carter. Put the weight off. Turn on the air. Get her back. Use her back. Sigue respirando el aire. Y va al otro lado del carro. Six liters. Ringers on board. So maravilloso, so maravilloso. Wonderful. Oh, you're wonderful. Okay. Why don't you guys get that letter? Vamos al hospital? Al hospital? Yes. Si. Congratulations, Morgan. Thanks, Trap. Kind of thought you'd be upset with my... Me? Upset? No, no. Just because I didn't make sergeant? No. 
Thanks. Okay. Tonight at Maloney's around 9 o'clock after work. Is that an order? No, it's a request. Just the two of us? Okay. Okay. I think you handled yourself very diplomatically. Huh. Thanks. Salute. Yeah, well, uh. <laughs> I thought you were going to be here alone. We're all in this together, Morgan. And whatever you do or whatever you've got to say affects all of us. Well, what if you had been number four on the list? You know, you always seem to forget that for 15 years, 240 Robert has been an all-male unit. And I came along and spoiled it. And I take it that you've just all been tolerating me. No way, Morgan. Hey, wait a minute. I, don't I feel dig that you. Way, boy. No, really? Hey, come on, guys. Just take it easy. See what you've done, Morgan? See? You know, it's funny, as I was walking over here, I, uh, I had the silly idea. I thought maybe you guys were throwing a surprise party for me. Well, it is kind of a party, actually. Kind of a farewell party. Farewell? I might be transferring out of the unit, Morgan. You can't transfer out, Trap. Just watch me. I mean it. You're a part of this unit. You're a very valuable part. When I first came to 240, Robert, I was a little scared, being a woman and all. But I've learned a lot from you guys. You taught me, you taught me a lot. Hey, remember the van rove underwater? Remember when you were pinned under it and I pulled it off with a chopper? Yeah. You saved my life on that one, Morgan. Hey, Terry. Remember the time you took a fall and I thought you stopped breathing and I gave you mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? <laughs> yeah. And Fib, remember when we pulled that epileptic out of the canyon? Remember the winds and the litter got stuck on the wire? Yeah, I remember. I guess what I'm trying to say is I've learned a lot from you guys. You know, and I keep learning more. Mostly from you, Trap. I mean, your experience, your professionalism, your leadership quality. You're a vital part of this unit. And you're not the kind of person that can be replaced. So, if anybody's going to transfer out of this unit, it's going to be me. Uh, wait a minute, Morgan. No, that's the only solution. It's very obvious to me that the problem is me. And I'll be damned if I'm going to take responsibility for breaking up this incredible unit. Excuse me. Well, what are we going to do? We? Oui.
Morgan. Uh, would you, why don't you just sit down a minute, okay? Look, the guys figured that maybe I should... No, I figured. I figured I should talk to you alone. It's very considerate of you, Trap. But I thought you already said it all. Yeah, well, I've been thinking that maybe uh, somehow, I mean, I've got this wrong or something. And we want you to know that you're a vital part of the unit, too. I am? Yeah. We've got this special kind of relationship. You know, you know, like how well we work together. Yes, I know. Well, I think we should keep it that way. So... The point is that I don't think you should split on account of me. I think you should stay, Morgan. And uh, whatever it takes, I'll, I'll work it out. Then you mean you're not going to transfer out of the unit? Yeah, I'm staying. And I want you to stay, too. Thank you, Trent. This is Coleman. Thibodeau. What's your 1020? Uh, 3700 block PCH. Listen, I'm sending Morgan and a few guys up. Detectives a couple of suspects downtown who claim they planted a bomb in the hall of the oil tank in Long Beach. Pier 9 is set to blow at noon today. Arson explosives are on their way. They need two experienced divers. Morgan will follow you down. I'll send you additional help. Good luck. 10-4, Lieutenant. Thanks. Let's go. What's the deal? This I'll explain later. Let's get in our wetsuits. Approximately 27 minutes. I guess we better move.
clearing these buildings, too. Okay, we'll have to check them out. Suck it. What's the latest? I'm trapping Dipper down, checking it out. Okay, uh, we'll back him up just in case. Good, let's get that gear. Secondaries? It's the only one. And it's ticking. All right, what's it look like? Well, it's rectangular, about a foot, about eight inches, four screws in the front. A pan like that, and a handle over here. All right, 19 minutes. Let's get that device disarmed. Okay. This hard hats for communication. Good. <laughs> screws. Now remove the screws carefully. We are in the process of removing the screws. Okay, we've got the screws. Okay, now carefully remove the cover, pull it straight off towards you, try not to make contact with the sides. except for two wires. I can't get to the timer. Okay, you'll have to disengage the magnet and bring the whole thing up with you. How much plastics do we have? Uh, looks like close to two pounds. You're right, we got trouble. Our trailer will never handle a blast that big. Okay, you'd better come up. Deputy, let's clear the area. How much time do we have left? 
Eight minutes if that clock is accurate. The helicopter. We've got just enough time to fly it out and dump it in the ocean. Okay, you got it. Okay, the chopper's on the way. All right, let's deactivate that magnet. to cut the two wires. Now hold it. The red wire is thinner than the white one. Does that mean anything? Great. Don't cut anything. That red wire is a leg wire, a booby trap. You can cut that. Fib, cut the white wire. You're sure? Sure as I can be. We've only got four minutes left. The white wire is cut. The magnet's been deactivated. but I never saw the results. Here I am, 34, right. Wainwright. All right. Oh, Trap is 32. Trap? Do you have a minute, Marvin? I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Sure.
emergency. I have a tail rotor failure. Are we going to crash? is the actual emergency services detail of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. We greatly appreciate their full cooperation. Tomorrow, the roommates are invited to a swinging, sexy penthouse on Three's Company. And a love-struck woman won't take no from Alex on Taxi. Then a ravishing beauty will do anything to become Jonathan's lover when the dynamite new adventure series Heart to Heart joins the Tuesday comedy lineup. Now stay tuned as the Pittsburgh Steelers challenge the Denver Broncos on NFL Monday Night Football. Next on ABC.